All right, let's talk about something we all have to do at some point. Write a sales pitch. It can be a real grind, right? Well, today, we're going to show you how a tool like Google Gemini can help you go from staring at a blank screen to having a killer pitch way, way faster. I want you to just imagine for a second. What if that next big deal-closing sales pitch didn't have to be such a struggle? Seriously, what if it felt like it almost wrote itself? Now, that probably sounds a little like science fiction, but you'd be surprised how close we are. Oh, you know the feeling all too well. It's that dreaded blinking cursor on the blank page. You spend hours, literal hours doing research, and for what? You're stuck trying to find the right tone, so scared of sounding too pushy or salesy, and it all just leads to one revision after another. It's exhausting. So, what's the fix? What if you had a co-pilot for this whole process? That is exactly how you should think about Gemini. It's not trying to take your job, it's here to be your partner, to help you get from that dreaded blank page to a pitch that actually shines. And let's be really clear about what we mean by co-pilot. This is not some robot that just spits out words, no. Think of it like a creative partner that takes care of all the heavy lifting. You know, the grunt work of drafting and research. And that frees you up to focus on the stuff that humans do best strategy, connection, and real persuasion. Okay, let's get into the nuts and bolts. How do you actually do this? How do you take all those ideas swimming around in your head and turn them into a story that sells? Well, it really just comes down to three main steps. First things first, you've got to provide context. The AI isn't a mind reader, right? So you need to give it all your raw materials, your notes, your research, your product specs. The more it has to work with, the better. Second, and this is absolutely critical, you have to define the audience. Be super specific about who you're talking to, what's their job, what keeps them up at night. And finally, you prompt and iterate. This is the fun part, the conversation. You give it a task, see what it comes up with, and then you guide it, tweak it, and shape it. Now this is where the magic really happens, the prompt. Just look at how specific this is. We're not just saying, write a pitch, we're telling it to act as a senior salesperson. We're telling it who to write for, a busy marketing manager. And most important, we're telling it what matters to them, saving 10 hours a week and boosting ROI. That level of detail, that's the secret sauce. Let's just put this side by side so you can really see the difference. A weak prompt, like write a sales pitch, gets you, well, a weak generic pitch. But a strong prompt that gives it a role, a number, and a real human goal to aim for, that's how you get results. You've got to remember, the quality of what you get out is a direct reflection of the quality of what you put in. Okay, so Gemini gives you a really solid first draft. Are we done? Nope, not by a long shot. This is where you step in to take it from good to truly great. Your job just shifted. You're not the writer anymore, you're the director. You're not just watching this happen, you are in the driver's seat. And to be a great director, you need a few pro tips. First, always challenge the output. Ask it, how can we make this even more persuasive? Then you have to inject your own voice. Add your stories, your personality. And this one is huge. Fact check everything. It's a co-pilot, not a perfect genius. Make sure every stat is right. Then zero in on a single clear call to action. And always, always remember, that final polish, that human touch, that's all you. So what's the big payoff for working this way? Well, it completely flips how you spend your time. Look at this. Before, you were probably spending, what, 80% of your energy just wrestling with the words on the page, leaving only 20% for actual strategy. With an AI co-pilot, that whole thing gets inverted. Now, you get to spend 80% of your brain power on what really matters. Strategy, connecting with your customer the stuff that actually closes deals. When you really step back and think about it, what we're talking about is basically a new superpower, and it helps to think about it differently. It's not really artificial intelligence. It's more like augmented creativity, your creativity but supercharged. Because, let's be real, the whole point of a tool like this isn't to replace your creativity. It's not supposed to, it's to unleash it. By taking away all the friction and the boring parts, the AI lets you be more strategic, more persuasive, and in the end, more you. So you see, the real power isn't just in the tech itself. It's about what you decide to do with it. Which really leaves us with just one big exciting question. 
Now that you have a co-pilot, where are you going to fly next?